Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is AW Pixotica. Today in this video, we're going to talk about five beginner photography mistakes that all of you commit. And we're going to give solutions to those problems. Stay tuned in. If you guys are new to the channel, do leave a like, do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons if you haven't done so already. Coming up. By talking about the five photography mistakes that a lot of you guys make, the first very mistake that we commit is shooting in JPEG instead of RAW. Now, shooting in JPEG is very, very simple. You just go in the camera settings, set the photographs to the JPEG instead of RAW, start shooting. However, what the JPEG does is that it takes a lot of quality out of the photograph. It compresses the image, it loses a lot of detail, whereas if you're shooting in RAW, you get all the detail, all the light that the sensor has been able to capture. All that detail and all that, you know, juicy stuff inside the photograph is available if you're shooting in RAW. So the first crime that people do when they are beginner photographers, when they're beginning their photography journey is to shoot in JPEG. Try to avoid shooting in JPEG, shoot in RAW as much as possible. If you're shooting on Canon cameras, the RAW format can be converted into a DNG format inside your inside your laptops or the computers. You just need to download a DNG converter from the Canon website. That's going to convert that to DNG and finally those DNG files will be able to open inside Photoshop for you to edit with. So stop shooting JPEG guys, for God's sake. Stop shooting in JPEG, start shooting in RAW. Number two, the number second mistake that a lot of beginner photographers make is shooting in auto mode. Now the auto mode is a pretty simple preset inside the camera. You just turn to auto mode and the camera is going to do the job for you guys automatically. This doesn't work in all the situations. And if you are looking to improve upon your photography and if you're looking to really get to know the photo basics and what the what photography is about, uh, start shooting in manual. Now the manual mode offers you full control over the ISO, the aperture and the shutter speed settings of your camera. So if, if you're trying to shoot in any scene, uh, if you're trying to shoot in any condition, whether it's low light, whether it's, uh, you know, bright environment, whether you want to take those buttery smooth, uh, silky shots using less, lesser shutter speed, uh, you want to play with your ISO, all of these things can be done only and only in the manual mode of your camera. So my second advice to you guys is to stop shooting in auto mode and shift to manual as soon as possible. Get to know the camera controls, get to know what the camera has to offer inside the manual mode, how it behaves when you start to increase or decrease, uh, you know, particular values inside the camera of ISO shutter speed and aperture. If you want an in-depth analysis and want to know what ISO shutter speed and aperture means, I'll link a card uh, up over here or over here for you guys. I have made three uh, videos in which I've discussed all these three different aspects separately. So go check them out if you want to know in, in if you want to know in detail what these three concepts mean. Number three on my list, and this is a really, really, you know, cashy point over here. Number third mistake, number three mistake that you guys commit is shooting from a single angle, not experimenting with the angles. Now, while well, shooting from the angle, what I mean is that you take your camera, you stand at an eye level and start shooting from that level, pointing and shooting in any direction, you know, shooting your subject from an eye level perspective. That fails to create interest inside your photographs. What you want to do is, when you're shooting a subject and you're trying to photograph, try experimenting with different angles. Try to go low, try to go high, try to go left, right, try to try to make it more interesting, you know? Adding these angles to your photographs is going to, you know, bring that feel to the photograph. The viewer is going to find something of value and something of interest, and he would stick on your photograph for a while and see what you've done with it. So, uh, third mistake is sticking to one angle. Do not stick to one angle. Experiment with various angles, move around the subject, play around with the camera in your hand. That's my third advice for you guys. All right, the fourth mistake that a lot of us make is we snap a photograph, it's inside our phone or it's inside our camera and we just upload it or use it without post-processing or editing. Professional photographers everywhere 
uh, people who are in this field always take the photograph out, put in a little effort in the softwares that are available inside laptops, computers, and the cell phones like Snapseed, Lightroom, or Photoshop uh, in some cases. And they, you know, tweak their photos a bit, post-process it, and edit it. This is a very important step which a lot of beginner photographers miss out. Uh, they just take the photograph from the DSLRs, newly purchased DSLRs or a phone and consider it done. Well, the job is not done. <laughs> you gotta post edit, post-process and edit your photographs to bring the final you know, result out and uh, you know give a final touch or feeling to the photograph what you're trying to convey in, through that photograph to the viewer. Always post-process and edit your photographs. All right, the number fifth mistake that a lot of you guys commit is not knowing enough about the photography basics. Before buying a camera, before getting into this field, at least do yourself a favor and get to know the camera basics, get to know how the camera functions, how the three basic uh, pillars of photography work. The ISO, which is the image sensitivity of the sensor, the aperture, which is opening and closing of the lens, and the shutter speed, the speed at which the shutter is moving inside your camera. So all three, these three factors work in cohesion to provide you the final result which you're looking for. So not knowing the basics and not working on the basics of your camera and the photograph, not knowing your camera is a crime. Do not do that. Get to know your camera, get to know the software, get to know the basics, get to know these three basic pillars. So they help you in, you know, composing the photograph in a better manner. And ultimately the final result, the photograph which you've taken is going to be something of value, something that you would cherish, something which you would like in your viewer is going to definitely die. Well guys, those were five uh, basic photography mistakes that a lot of us commit. I committed them once I started so I wanted to share my experience with you guys uh, so that these five tips uh, along with the mistakes that I've mentioned maybe in some way help you in uh, you know making your photograph making your photography a bit better if you guys are new to the channel do leave a like do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons if you haven't done so already that would be a big help uh, at on this channel we are committed to providing you with uh, photography tips with reviews with tech reviews with equipment with vlogs with travels uh, you know all about cinematics and stuff like that so this is aw exotica signing off for now <laughs> see you in another video really really soon bye bye Hey